Hi, my name is Jen Tillman. I'm a master's student of horticulture at Iowa State University. I'm working on a research project about sustainable cucurbit production with Jason Lilly, a master's student in horticulture at Penn State University. In our joint research, funded by SCRI, the Specialty Crop Research Initiative, we're looking at sustainable farming techniques for cucurbit growers. The main areas of our research that we'll be talking about today are cover crop use in vegetable production, strip tillage, row cover use, and pest scouting. So part of this research project is uh, investigating the use of a strip tillage system for cucurbit production. So strip tillage is a method of conservation tillage where you leave a mat of organic material, usually a cover crop, on top of the surface and only cultivate about a one foot wide strip uh, where the plants will be planted and you leave the organic uh, material in between rows to act as a weed barrier and also to hold in moisture. In order to get a good uh, strip tillage system established, you have to have a thick mat of, of cover crop in order to have good weed protection and also to keep in your soil moisture. We're here in our organic field at Penn State. Um, as you can see, this field um, has a cover crop in it. We use a mix of winter rye, as you can see here, and a hairy vetch. So in order to kill the, the cover crop organically, we use the roller crimper. And uh, what that does is it actually bends the stems of the cover crop. So you can see about every eight inches up the stem, it'll just get a little kink in the plant. And that um, decreases the nutrient flow and, and eventually will kill the cover crop. So uh, when you have a mix of hairy vetch and winter rye, you um, will do an initial rolling when the, when the winter rye is heading. And then the vetch will come back up through that cover crop and then Later on, uh, sometimes up to three weeks later, um, the vetch will start to form pods and that's the stage at which you want to roll the hairy vetch so you can roll the same field again. conventional field here at the Rock Springs Research Station. There are two different ways to manage this system. Uh, one is to come through and spray with glyphosate and then to come through a few days later with a flail mower and try to leave as much cover crop residue as possible. So there's about a foot of standing cover crop material still in the field and there's the, the chopped up material that's laying that will give you a good um, weed protection. Over here, after uh, making a glyphosate application, we ran through with a roller crimper. And what that does is it allows the cover crop to stay intact so that it is less likely to break down and hopefully will give you better weed protection throughout the season. As you can see in the front of the implement, we have our cleaning uh, disc, which grab the cover crop and remove them from the planting zone. Behind the cleaning disc, we have a cutting disc, which cuts down through the sod. Behind that, we have a subsoiler shank, which will cut down into the soil about 10 inches. And that is surrounded by two more discs, which will pull the soil back in towards those discs. And behind that we have our leveling basket, which will take that soil that's been loosened up and level it to make a nice flat planting surface. So as you can see after one pass, um, there's really not that much difference other than that the sod has been broken and some of the major cl clumps are broken up. Um, but after two passes, 
you can see a nice broken up and loose planting bed with some nice soil that will be great for uh, planting our cucurbits into. After we planted our muskmelon and squash, we came through the same day and installed row covers, which you can see here. We put metal hoops periodically down the row and then covered it with Rime. We used Agrabon 30 for this study. This serves a few purposes. The first one is that it protects the plants physically from pests. So by keeping especially cucumber beetles away from the plants, we prevent the spread of bacterial wilt earlier on in the plant's development. This also reduces the need for insecticides, which can harm beneficial insects, so now we haven't hurt the bees that we want to pollinate these plants. A uh, second use for row covers is that they actually create a little bit of a heat trap, so it helps the plants mature quickly earlier on. And a third reason that we use the row covers is that they protect the plants from wind damage, especially in the early spring when you can get really high winds. On young transplants it can be really harmful, um, and the row covers help mitigate the wind so that they have a tendency to survive better. Scouting for spotted and striped cucumber beetles is another important component of sustainable cucurbit farming. Cucumber beetles are vectors of bacterial wilt, a devastating disease for cucurbit crops in central and eastern United States. To scout, Determine a few transects through your field that seem like representative samples. Spend about 20 seconds at each plant looking for and counting beetles as you walk the transect. Early in the season, we keep plants sprayed with Surround, an insecticide made with clay that repels cucumber beetles. This helps keep the population of beetles at a minimum until later in the season. This year, our threshold is three beetles per plant. When that threshold is reached, we spray either Pyganic or Entrust to knock back population to a manageable level. Scouting for cucumber beetles can allow you to determine the most effective insecticide to use and the best time to use them, which can cut down on your cost and also your negative effect on beneficial insects such as pollinators. You've learned about cover crops, strip tilling, row covers, and pest scouting, all important facets of our research. We'll get back to you with the results at the end of the season. Hopefully, we will have discovered some useful insights that will help to develop a sustainable farming system for farmers of cucurbit crops. Thank you for your interest.